Maglev Challenge is basically the most extreme kiteboarding event in the world. Water flying in the wind, it's just full on in your face, no escape, sand, it's a harsh environment. During the Rebel Megaloop Challenge we focus on picking out the strongest day of the year. The really prime conditions we want is at least 35 knots, maybe even up to the 50 to really get the most extreme moves. The whole idea of the competition is based on the trick, the Megaloop. So you fly as high as possible, whilst the kite makes a full circle through the wind, producing the most power out of the kite, and it just creates a huge horizontal yank. As soon as they give the green light for the Red Bull Megaloop Challenge, then yeah, you can expect guaranteed action, so big action. Back in the day, Ruben was basically the only guy that went out in insane storms, performing these tricks, going higher and higher, really setting a new bar for, for him and for, for the whole kiteboarding sport. You know, Ruben's always been so driven by big air and the extreme side of kiteboarding. And I always remember him always coming up with these projects and ideas that would make, you know, kiteboarding better. Yeah, so together with Red Bull, we were always looking on, yeah, how do we push the limits of the sport? So we first came up with a, an event called the, the Red Bull Bove NAP. I think this was in like 2010. We push the level of the Dutch kiteboarding scene to the next level, so let's keep on doing that, ride hard. But then, yeah, we got a little bit more extreme, so then the Lent 10 Megaloop Challenge was born in Cape Town in 2012. And in 2013 we kicked it off in the Netherlands, and uh, this turned out to be an epic success. changed the event name and now it's the Red Bull Megaloop. The Red Bull Megaloop for me is also a super special competition because I won it back in 2015. From that moment onwards it sort of became uh, my professional career. The Megaloop's evolved over the years just by the level of riding. The Red Bull Megaloop has over the years become such a big and prestigious event to compete at. The riders develop, the, the gear develops. It's becoming more technical in combination with the mega loop. We really see the jump from just doing a mega loop to combining it with other variations of tricks all into one. big crowds and everyone's going to be cheering and going nuts for these big tricks. During the competition we basically set the bar to a higher level and raise it from there and progress the whole sport. Just to see this evolve and turn into such a great foundation and impact for the sport and the riders, it's wonderful to see and I cannot wait to see where it goes next. <laughs> <laughs>